The Annual Development Partners Forum provides a platform for development partners to explore ways to collaborate with government on emerging issues and support implementation of various goals. As Namibia continues to recover economically and mitigate the effects of COVID-19, significant partnerships remain crucial to support programs guided by national development plans. Despite serious challenges including drought, flooding, locust invasions and on the international front, the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, UN resident coordinator Sen Pang says Namibia has made great strides towards achieving the 16th Sustainable Development Goal, dealing with peace, justice and strengthening institutions. The promotion of digitalization has played an important role in helping Namibia to maximize the impact in sectors such as health, energy, transportation, agriculture, education and financing for development. It facilitates access to basic social services consistent with our broader good governance and development policies and programs. It also sheds light on cross-sector partnerships and the political uh, potential to contribute to long-term development impact. National Planning Commission Executive Director Valencia Quiras highlighted key developments and cooperation with development partners. Namibia as a country is on a positive trajectory in its development path and standard of living, whilst on the other hand marks many development challenges. As a result, the country has seen drastic drop in the number, volume and change in the mode of partnership from some of our development partners. The forum is bringing together our development partners and stakeholders to deliberate on partnership in this year's focus areas. This forum's, uh, forum also contributes to strengthening partnership between government and development partners. The forum also provided progress updates on commitments made during the 2021 Development Partners Forum on the focal areas of health, tourism, digitization in ICT and innovative development finance. Siamantikwa, NBC News, Ventuk.